this injury by far has changed the course of my life forever without a doubt and I, I'm not and no exaggeration it's absolutely the worst injury that I've ever undergone by far well it has been a while since I've shot a video like this I used to do videos like this all the time the reason for me sitting here and doing this video, aside from me reacting and showing you guys the five worst injuries of my entire life, it's because we have a couple videos in the works that are going to take some serious time. And you guys are going to have to bear with us on that. Just please know and please be confident in us making some of the greatest content the internet has ever seen in the history of the world. So if you guys want to support the dream and bear with us for a little bit longer, drop a like on this video. We promise it's going to be worth the wait. And we have a little treat for you guys. It is the five most serious times that I have ever hurt myself in my life. There are thousands and to narrow it down to five was definitely not easy. But we we decided on five. All right, let's dive right into this cringe fest that's probably gonna be unmonetized in that number five. The waterfall stunt in Mexico. My friend Jaime said that there was a waterfall that we could probably skimboard off of. I was like, that sounds awesome, I am down. It was a lot more sketchy than I expected. The sand was not really sand, it was more like rocks, just a bunch of little tiny pebbles. And I got absolutely annihilated. No card. God damn it, hold on. Keep doing that. distinctly remember how that felt. It was not fun at all. I hated every second of that, but it was a lot of fun and we got some good content. So mission accomplished. The video also got a lot of views, so double accomplished. Number four of the list of the top five most painful things I've ever experienced in my life would be butt boarding down Big Nasty. We went through a longboard phase when we were skating all the time. We were like hosting skate races. We were doing garage races. We're doing like slide jam longboard events. If you guys miss those days and you miss those videos, comment down below. We'll try to get back into it. I really would like to host another flat ground race where we basically take over an entire town or an entire street and there's so many skaters that you can't even do anything about it. So if you guys want to see that, see something like this happen again, higher quality, better cameras, better equipment, bigger fan base, bigger reach of audience, possibly get, you know, like thousands of people to go skate and mob the place all at once. I think that would be dope. So comment down below.
I also couldn't walk for a week after that because my ass turned into a cheese cheese grated ass. So, number three. Just like I said, we went through a longboarding phase, we went through a serious cliff jumping phase. And I think we're still kind of in that phase because I still love jumping off of shit. It is so much fun. But, I have to warn you, if you're gonna jump off of stuff, one, you gotta check how deep the water is so that you don't break yourself. Two, never jump 10 feet higher than the highest thing you've ever jumped off of. If you've only ever jumped off of 12 feet, don't jump off of something higher than 22 feet. If you've ever only jumped off something 22 feet, don't ever jump off of something higher than 32 feet. Those are like the two rules that must never be broken. Always check the water before you jump in and always use the rule of 10 feet so that you don't die. And we'll roll the clip of me absolutely annihilating myself. One of the worst slams of my life, hands down. Awesome, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Let's go help him swim. You guys, the wind knocked out of me, dude. No, cool. uh, two days went by a full 48 hours, and I felt like as bad as I had in a really long time. If I coughed or sneezed, it was like an 8 out of 10 pain. I talked to a couple of my friends who are personal trainers and who have seen a lot of injuries, and they told me that I should go get checked out to make sure I didn't have bruised lungs or internal bleeding or cracked ribs, splintered ribs, separated ribs, a whole number of things that I just didn't want. So what happened here is I thought that I was going to just stick the double backflip. I didn't really know. I, I wasn't familiar with the rotation. I had never done it before. I just kind of went for it. I tucked for way too long, open way too late. And not only did I smack my back off of a 20 plus foot bridge, I rotated into the slap. So I like came around. You think a belly flop's bad. I, I went to the hospital. I was hospitalized from that. So for the content. Clip jumping phase, good time, glad none of us died. Number two, to me it's very obvious why this is number two on the countdown, blatantly obvious. I still have a scar on my face to this day from this happening. You guys see it? See if I can't take a good picture for you guys really quick. In taking that picture, I realized three things. One, I'm very ugly. Two, the scar is still there. Three, I should probably shave. The idea was to throw the beach ball off of the bridge me be towing behind a jet ski on a skimboard and slam into the beach ball or catch the beach ball or get knocked off the skimboard or something i don't know it just seemed like a good idea at the time when that failed three times and we realized we were running out of sunlight i decided to just whip myself into that thing full speed seemed like a good idea at the time what could possibly go wrong it's a giant beach ball how bad could it hurt what i didn't account for is me tomahawking over the beach ball, landing on my back, and my knee slamming into my face. Hurry, get him! Get him! 
shit. Yeah, I'll jump on it. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hit my knee in my face. Is it bleeding a lot? Um, it's not too terrible. Okay, but that's it is good. Bleeding. No, f the board. The thing is with that is I hit myself with my knee in the face harder than I've ever been hit by anything in my entire life. I thought that I imploded my cheekbone. I went and I felt my face with my hand and it felt completely different from all the other times that I touched my face previous to that. And that concerned me. Personally, I feel as though I took it like a champ. I was worried just that my teeth were knocked out of my face. Thing is, is my, my jaw and my gums were sore for like months after that and I blew blood vessels out my eye. Here's the aftermath from the next morning. We'll roll to that really quick. I just woke up and I'm gonna look in the mirror now. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I turned my eyes in the video and I noticed some red. And then when I turned on my phone and I looked to the left. Not only does it hurt, but there's blood all over my eye. And yeah, that all around sucked. Definitely, definitely deserves to be number two on one of the most painful injuries of my entire life. And number one, this is just absolutely hands down for me. Not, none of the injuries even come close. I would literally, no exaggeration, rather go through everything that I went through previous to this five more times than for this next injury to have ever happened to me. And if you know this channel at all, you can probably guess. So number one, my worst injury of my entire life is my dislocated shoulder. I have done this countless times. And every single time that it happens, it is the most gut-wrenching, worst, most painful thing that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Every time it happens, I let out a scream. I will play a clip for you. Oh, God. Oh, it's like reliving it is just so terrible. I'm gonna play, replay a clip for you that I'm not gonna watch because I can't even possibly for any reason put myself through listening to this and watching this again. So if your discretion is advised, this is just absolutely brutal. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You take this. Yeah. You need to throw your hobby. You didn't help him. You sure it's him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, sound, that is a sound that only comes out of my face when I am in a serious amount of pain. So there is good news. I have been rehabilitating my shoulder. For quite some time now i've been going to rehab i got an mri i got the x-rays done got everything checked out there's a small tear in my labrum which is actually not the worst case scenario because all the ligaments the things that make my arm work are intact and they're not damaged so what i really need to do is i need to go get surgery where they put a couple sutures in and they basically reattach my labrum to my shoulder muscles so i don't i'm not a doctor i have no idea but from what I hear is if this surgery is successful and I have three to six months of solid rehabilitation of my arm and I work out and I get into shape and I become jacked and ripped and lean, mean, beautiful, mother kissing machine. First time it ever happened, I was cliff jump I was jumping out of trees in Wikiwachi and I slipped out of a tree and I grabbed a branch and I spun the wrong way, shoulder pulled out of socket. I was holding myself, I was holding my entire body's weight by my arm. That was out of socket. And I'm, I'm assuming that's when my labrum tore. That was over two years ago. But there is a surgery I can undergo. And my physical therapist has assured me that if I undergo the surgery and it's successful and I undergo the three to six months of physical therapy, 
my shoulder should never pop out again. And that's something that it would be life changing for me because this injury really has held me back from doing all the things that I enjoy. And uh, it sucks. It really does suck. This injury by far has changed the course of my life forever without a doubt. And, And no exaggeration. It's absolutely the worst injury that I've ever undergone by far. Um, I'm a surfer. I'm a skimboarder. I love cliff jumping. Like I'm, my entire life is action sports oriented. The whole reason that I started a YouTube channel was because of skimboarding was because of surfing and was because I had a huge interest in action sports and like, just like riding bikes, launching off of ramps, launching off of skate ramps, like hitting mini, mini ramp. I haven't skated in like six months because the last time I skated, my shoulder came out of socket and you know, it came to a point like it was popping out in my sleep. It was popping out just from, it popped out on an airplane once too when I went to reach under the seat and I was just like, enough is enough. I'm gonna do everything I can to rehabilitate this and to save myself and to just get better. Um, I'm gonna undergo the surgery and if I have to take a few months off of doing all the crazy stuff we, we do so that for the rest of my life I can continue to do the stuff that I love that is a small sacrifice in my book. So I'm gonna get the surgery done. I'm gonna update you guys on that. I'm gonna vlog it. I'm gonna share my experience with you guys. All I can say is, you know, people told this to me my whole life. I just kind of shrugged it off, but you really only get one body and if you hurt yourself too much, it's really, it. It's never gonna work the same, essentially. My left shoulder's never gonna be the same. Maybe, maybe I can make it stronger than it ever was, I don't know, but uh, as of right now, I just, I really need to fix it. I really need to do everything I can to fix it. I hope you guys stick with me through the adventure. You know, making these videos is my life. It's my livelihood, it's my job. I enjoy it more than I could ever explain to you guys, and I feel very fortunate to be where I am in making these videos, so. One, thank you as sincerely as I possibly can, thank you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video for more epic content, and um, someone just delivered a package, so I'm going to go get that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for one of the greatest videos in the history of the internet. Hopefully, we can prank the entire state of Florida again, but don't tell anyone. What am I doing? Uh, we have fun. We have fun.